Excellent. Nice that you're back here at the Metrology Talk. Um, we had a brief chat that uh, an interesting topic for customers are currently uh, within e-mobility, um, the roughness on uh, gear tooth. Mm -hmm. uh, before we come into that depth, um, what are other e-mobility trends that currently customers come up with? Yeah, basically that's a broad variety of different issues because obviously the whole industry is turning uh, into the e-mobility and a lot of things are coming up, but let's say the, the major issues is on the one hand side, batteries, battery cells, foils measurement, as well the the e-motor itself, for example, the, the rotors and or the, the magnetic field of the motors to see the efficiency and how good it is being produced. Or another task is within the fuel cells um, where we have the injection systems, which are quite sophisticated, where a lot of metrology is necessary. And finally, there's a lot of stuff in, in the gearbox indeed. Okay, gear. Gear typically is and was um, a critical component within combustion engines. Mm -hmm. uh, why within e-mobility? Yeah, in, indeed, uh, the requirements have changed quite dramatically um, to the gearbox um, because uh, there's, there's a lot of power which needs to be transferred. If you ever have sitting in an e-car and you just accelerate it, it's, it's fun. It's fun indeed. <laughs> but on a mechanical side, it's, it's a lot of power you need to manage uh, within the powertrain mm -hmm. there. And one core component is there, the gearbox, still the gearbox, uh, because the e-motor needs to run in higher speed than you need on the actual on the wheels. So you need to transfer this still somehow. That's why the gearbox is there. And you need to transfer all this power and all this energy, and you need to be... Uh, you need to build very small gearboxes because the whole drive unit melt down to a to a, a small and light weighted drive box because the battery have a heavy weight so you need to to equalize this uh, somehow so the requirements on the gearbox is to get small handling a lot of power uh and on uh, additionally um the emissions uh regarding noise gets mm -hmm. stronger and stronger because the e-motor is that uh, smooth running that uh, everybody would hear the gear if it's not working uh, fine. So for the manufacturer of the gear, as you mentioned, a lot of requirements, high-end requirements. Uh, what do they have to do to manage those requirements? Yeah, basically it's a bundle you can do uh, within the gearbox. It's a classical things like, like, the, gear, the, like the bearings uh, to have optimized layouts. Then obviously a lot of uh, thoughts being put in the geometry of the teeth um, getting in to, uh, into it to, to have an optimal uh, performance there. But a um, very new topic or a new topic is really to pay more attention about the surface of the very tooth um, because uh, a lot of studies showed in the last few years been, been performed uh, that the influence of the surface, uh, especially if the roughness of the tooth has significant impact on the uh, on the performance of the gear okay surface core competence of mar measuring the That's the it. surface um so what are there the the typical uh, measurement task in regards to surface on the on the gear on the tooth basically it's 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 the tooth uh, to 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 measure the the roughness because the tooth gets in the meanwhile really high end polished uh which uh, which uh, serve that the gear uh, can manage uh, higher power density as well as as, uh, as uh, get the noise level much more lower so it's it's pure roughness measurement but to a certain very high grade extent or or, or very very high specifications there mm -hmm. so um, you mentioned that once that the requirements have increased we have now really high polished surfaces for the e-mobility demands. How was it done when we go, uh, I don't know, a couple of days, weeks, months back uh, in former times? How was the measurement done and what were there the, the limits and typical parameters? Yeah, basically the, uh, the manufacturer were coming from the geometry of the gears because um, to optimize a gear, one of the first things you think about is is the pure uh, geometry of the of the tooth. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the basic to get a good performance. So a lot of metrology energy was spent into how to measure the geometry, 
And afterwards, it was found out that it makes sense to pay a certain attention as well to the surface. So the surface was the add-on, the surface measurement was the add-on on the geometry measurement uh, stations. And as a matter of fact, we were facing now the situation that we are coming in, in that high uh, requirements regarding the surface and have such high uh, surface quality that just an add-on doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. That's how we dropped in that topic. Mm -hmm. So you, you mentioned polished surfaces for mm -hmm. the e-mobility uh, like gearboxes. Um, um, just to get an understanding, what are Z numbers are we talking about? Yeah, we are talking uh, down to uh, to 0.8 in our set. So normally the, the performance level of the grinding machines is in between 1.2 and 0.8 in our set value. Our A value, that's 0.15, 0.1. So everybody is involved in metrology knows that this is really heavy stuff because we are talking there about nanometers. And and you mentioned in let's say former times often the the standard form measurement systems were used. Mm -hmm. Now we have to go into RZ plus minus one. How do we how do we manage that? What what is the solutions that we are giving to the customer? Yeah, the general different approaches uh, that we are switching coming from the idea to upgrade a geometry uh, measurement station which mm -hmm. has different um, requirements to fulfill than a s typical surface measurement station. Mm -hmm. And we are putting our knowledge which we have in surface management uh, measurement systems and transfer this now to the, to the application of the tooth flanks. And uh, that makes basically um, This can be achieved out of the sensors being applied, which are different ones, and a general ma machine setup, which is which serves especially the surface measurement tasks. Mm -hmm. And how you talk about and, and in what detail you talk about, I think we we are not talking theory. We are, no. I guess, you are already, if I remember, quite quite far into the practical uh, uh, area at the customer. Yeah, as a matter of fact. Uh, the whole story started uh, already with the grinding manufacturers because in the, in the developed departments of, of the car company, they recognize they need to do something on the surface. Mm -hmm. So in consequence, the grinding manufacturer had been asked to make uh, better grinding machines uh, to serve the needs of a better surface. Uh, so um, the grinding manufacturer were coming back to us and asking us as a specialist in surface measurement, what can we do and, and how we're doing that. And uh, that's how we developed the whole system together with the grinding uh, machine manufacturers. And uh, the outcome is now that we have full developed uh, systems which are working fully automatically in the shop floor. So you just put in the gear and start the measurement and the rest is, is, is running on its own. So in, in case a customer has especially that demands or is, is standing in front of that challenge, uh, what could he do? Yeah, get in touch with us. And uh, as I said, we have the full portfolio, so we, we really can figure out what his needs is, whether we go more to geometry and to the update of a geometry machine or we come from the surface side. So if it's really a surface issue as well as a geometry issue, just get in touch with us via the sales uh, organization or directly via the web page. And we are there to serve the needs. Perfect. And I learned that you are creating a white paper to even help the customers so. more that they can get into it uh, by them personally. Uh, we will post that, of course, as soon as possible on LinkedIn and, and the okay. website. And uh, it was uh, fun again, very interesting, very technical topic, um, <laughs> but uh, cutting edge, if I understood. So this is really is. something where we are top notch. It is indeed. Perfect. Thanks for Thank the you. talk.